the nature nature means character features evaluate the nature of the bhakti movement and its contribution to indian culture clear so nature of bhakti movement and its contribution to indian culture it's on nature say question is small but you need to understand its question is evaluate on the nature of the bhakti movement not leadership nothing else evaluate the nature of the bhakti movement and its contribution to indian culture so what was the nature of bhakti movement the focus is on nature characteristic features so what was the nature of bhakti movement the first major nature of bhakti movement is obviously complete devotion it cannot be ruled out clear yeah? so bhakti movement is always marked by poorn samarpan complete devotion so it is always marked by complete devotion clear yeah? again next feature is nature is bhakti movement was monotheistic in nature the major thing and when you light monotheistic you light about two persons kabira nanak first is monotheistic then you will talk about against caste system gender equality lower caste he because kabira nanak talked about that clear so you light one paragraph kabir was totally against formal worship in temples and mosques he openly criticized the super superstitious practice of both hinduism and islam and wanted to unite hinduism and islam kabir never wanted to establish any religion or sect but the followers of kabir got inspired into kabir panthis that would be evaluate limitations nanak never wanted to establish any new religion but followers of nanak also consolidated into religion of sikhism clear at the same time both talked about abolition of caste system but caste system never got abolished both talked about hindu muslim unity but differences of hindu muslim continued in indian society so obviously their nature had certain limitations so they contributed to indian culture by promoting simple city but their contribution could not be much have could not have much longer impact second major character of bhakti movement is vaishnavism clear because in northern part of india all the bhakti leaders they promoted worship of lord vishnu in different avatars clear meera bai worship the lord krishna maharashtra dham was worship batho bithoba and they constructed temple of pandharpur surdas worship lord krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu worship lord krishna in assam also lord krishna was worshiped meaning that by they worshiped lord krishna as a part of lord vishnu so bhakti movement was marked by vaishnavism clear bhakti movement another nature is bhakti movement was also marked by shaivism lal dev in kashmir she worshiped lord shiv clear at the same time in southern part of india it was started with devotion towards lord shiv two group of saints alwars and nayanars alwars were devotees of vishnu nayanars were devotees of lord shiv shaivism monotheistic movement then write the other features that you are talking clear that is provincial languages we can write provincial languages then we can write localization of beliefs localization of beliefs then you can write about caste system then you can write about gender equality major features nature give write with examples then you can write about even kirtan and sankirtan of chaitanya mahaprabhu and then you can write finally the bhakti movement had wide wide appeal indicated through hari krishna movement all these are nature clear no contribution to indian culture the first major contribution to indian culture is that they contributed towards growth and development of several regional languages in india give some examples bengali language tamil language gujarati language assamese language at the same time another contribution is this bhakti movement promoted the growth and construction of temples in india largely the temples marked by shilas or shaligrams in mathura and vrindavan you can write about that bhakti movement also contributed to growth and development of mats in india like jyotirlinga mat sharda peet and all these were established by shankarachar right contribution to indian culture mats also mats and peets also clear you can even write about virashavas or lingayats 
because Vasa was promoted large number of muts in Mahar Karnataka. So large number of muts are there. Confusion to Indian culture because Vasa who promoted Lingas, they promoted social reforms. And in social reform, they talked about welfare state of Kalyan Raj. They talked about welfare of all section known as the Sarvodai, principles of Sarvodai, all these given by Basav. So all these are contributions to Indian culture, which were even followed even by, even by Mahatma Gandhi, who emphasized on welfare state, Sarvodai, Anantodai. All these are nature. Caste system, other things will come later. First is monotheism. Vaishnavism, Shaivism. In monotheism, when discuss about Kabira Nanak, we will always talk about these developments. Clear? Features. So this is evaluate the nature, limitations as well, and then contribution to Indian culture. Tell me the concluding. Introduction can be written, but conclusion should be very effective. Tell me the concluding remarks. Inspiration for social religious reform movements of 19th and 20th century cannot be, it can be a very, very valid conclusion, clear? And it can be that you can write that these bhakti movement created a sense of harmony and tolerance, which was very well used and capitalized by the social religious reformers of 19th and 20th century modern India. Yeah, it can be a conclusion. You can write in this way. Clear? So Bhakti movement led society without discrimination. You can write on this. Even you can write in this way. The Bhakti movement that prescribed a simplified and society was very well advocated by Mahatma Gandhi in the 20th century. You can even kind of correlate with that also. It can also be a conclusion. Clear? So Bhakti movement. Clear? This can be. But social religious reform movement was largely inspired by Bhakti movement. When we try to read much, we go into the nitty gritties, but we forget the major points. I would ask you, think clearly. And it's not that I'm telling you again, that you will not be knowing these points. You were knowing these points, but why it was not coming to you? It was not that you have not read. Anyone who has read medieval India must have read about Bhaktism, Vaishnavism, and Monotheism. But why the points did not come? Because this is not in your habit to contemplate. My point is develop this habit of contemplation. I'm not saying that you don't know this. You must be knowing this. But why it didn't came to strike your mind? Because we are not in the habit of contemplation. That's why I keep on saying when you go back, to start the practice of contemplation, it plays a big role in men's examination. Yeah? It's not about points. Someone will come, go, come after writing all these points in order way. And someone will write, don't write these points first of all, and will miss out these points. Yeah? Both will write, and both have read the same books, but marks will differ. Clear? Yeah? And marks will differ because examiner doesn't know how much you have read. Examiner will only go through your script. Clear? Yeah? So obviously develop this habit of contemplation is very important. Clear? See, when the length of the question is small, be very cautious. Long questions are easy because long questions, all the words will give you answer. Are you getting my But when it's short question, you need to develop your own thing. Clear? So when it's short question, you need to be very cautious.